Continuing from the last video, um, so we discovered a few things when we visited Simulator that I'd like to fix permanently in the model, um, especially the plotting of impurity and um, product. So this is something which is controlled again from the process tab and once again copy and paste are sort of easy ways of doing this you can just um, grab the line for a reagent uh, copy it sort of twice and then add product and impurity a uh, and this really just has the effect of saying yeah anytime we run the model let's make sure we plot those um, so that's going to permanently fix the need to kind of add them interactively to the chart. We won't need to do that anymore. There's another variable uh, tracked in phases, which is of interest to calorimetry and process safety people. It's called QR. I'm just going to, again, um, make an extra row here. Um, and I'm going to insert the name QR. And I'm going to write watts. And I'm going to write plot. So that's going to just look at all of the reactions happening in the phase, sum all of their reaction heat output rates. So you're turning an energy there into a power output and then display that that uh, as a positive value. If it's exothermic, it'll be a positive value on our chart. I'm just going to hop down now to the reactions and maybe look at something which might be a little bit more realistic which would be that you would have a fairly significant difference in the rate constants of your um, intended and your side reaction. Of course, this can be achieved in, in ways that are best known to chemists in, in many cases, but um, for now, uh, we'll just assume that this is something we're working with. And uh, in other parts of Dynachem training, you can learn about experimental design for fitting kinetics and actually fitting the kinetic parameters. And I'm going to just uh, give an exotherm because the bonds being formed and broken are probably quite similar in both of these reactions. I'm going to, going to give a little bit more exotherm to the second line. But of course, again, this is something that you would obtain typically by experimentation. So now we've got the system, I think, plotting everything we want it to plot and uh, with more realistic sounding kinetics i'm now going to revisit this model in simulator and um, use this session really to kind of wrap up the build of this model the next videos will take a, a different tack we'll be moving into more deeper concepts around model building with dynachem so uh, again i've got my uh, chart without any experimental data yet that that's if we had data we could do some fitting but right now this is more of a visualization model than it is a model that fits data and um, I like with a model like this I like to cycle through the plotted variables you know fairly frequently just to make sure that everything is behaving in the way that I expect it to behave and uh, for instance now we have quite a different looking shape of the impurity profile we've also got quite a lot less chemistry happening after the addition is complete and of course that's because we've accelerated the kinetics I increased the numerical values of the K K forwards the forward rate constants so now really the majority of the chemistry happens while we're doing the addition um, that is considered to be more intrinsically safe for example so um, we're now getting 383 millimoles of product relative to 500 millimoles of substrate so um, we can add later a calculation of yield or selectivity but we can get a pretty good idea there that we're getting into a better place from a yield point of view and of course now because the um, chemistry is faster the amount of reagent present in solution at any given moment is, is quite low because as soon as a reagent molecule is there it gets consumed either by the main reaction or by the side reaction feed tank temperature is still as it was before 
jacket temperature as before solution temperature is maybe having to work a little bit harder to get to uh, 80 degrees we're certainly getting it up to around about 73 74 um, with our with our existing heat transfer capability and exotherms qr is is one that i added and i really want you to see that so this is what your rc1 or equivalent uh, maybe easy max equipped for calorimetry would show for the reaction so it really comes up very quickly to form a square wave and the heat output continues you know until the addition finishes there's very little heat output after the addition is complete um, that would be referred to quite often as a dosing controlled reaction whereas the one we had earlier was a reaction with accumulation I'm just going to show you one final thing here, which is how to interact with the chemistry, you know, just within the simulator environment. And I'm just going to boost the exotherm here. I'm going to head this in the direction of a lethal reduction or something with a, a very large exotherm. So I'm just going to put uh, bigger numbers in for kilojoules per mole. And I'm going to run the simulation again. Of course, that's going to give a much higher QR, a much higher power output from the chemistry. It's also going to mean that the solution temperature can more easily rise to the 80 degrees on the jacket because now the chemistry is really helping to heat the solution. So I'm just trying to help you to see there how all of these different elements, the mole balance, the energy balance, the jacket, everything else, are interconnected here in in quite important ways and I might just make one more change to the chemistry I'm just going to re-slow the lines by just adding a zero in each k forward line um, and then I'm just going to run again and this time I'm going to use a feature you haven't seen before it's called ghost lines it's available directly at the bottom of the plot it will remember the current results when we run the new simulation. So you'll have dashed lines for the previous setup, solid lines for the current setup. I'm gonna focus on QR, and I, what I really just want you to see there is that, of course, if the chemistry is slower, then the um, QR profile begins to look a little bit more kinetic, a little bit more limited by kinetics. We have less of a square wave, more of an accumulation period after the addition.